Amanda from Miss A Crochet. And if you're new here, hello. If you're back again, it's day four of Whale Shark Week. If you haven't seen days one through three, I really recommend you go check that out. I talk about the inspiration behind this project, how I'm preparing my yarn for this project. Obviously, I use a yarn winder. And you can see my strategy for how I'm going to complete such a big project in one week. So I really recommend you go check that out first before you watch this video. If you've already seen those first couple of days, today is day four. I crocheted for about two more hours last night, so I'm officially at six hours and 45 minutes, I believe. Here's my six hour progress mark. I'm recording everything that I've made in each hour. So you're gonna see the fins a lot because I made those first. But you can see I'm getting some color buildup. I'm getting my color changes and my little Will shark spots and I'm really excited. I also did a little experiment today and I timed how long it would take me to just do one row. This row included I believe 14 color changes and to do one row of 72 stitches it took me four and a half minutes. Now I have I believe 22 more rows left that have those kind of color changes, that same 72 um, stitches per round. So I believe if my math is correct it will take me about 99 minutes. Each row is not gonna take me exactly four and a half minutes. So I'm gonna say it's probably gonna take me another hour and a half, another an hour and a half to two hours to finish this, just because sometimes I'm watching something while I'm doing it, or you know, I'm talking to somebody while I'm doing it. Um, so I can't like just, you know, be laser focused like I was when I was timing myself. Either way, I think four and a half minutes per row is really not that bad. I mean, 72 stitches plus like the you know 15 something color changes i'm i'm pretty happy with my progress and how quick i've gotten into crocheting i mean it's when i first started crocheting i was not fast at all and now i'm fast i can do the color changes without looking which i never really thought i would get to that point i thought you know color changes are just a, such a difficult thing that you have to be so focused to do and once i have like my setup i have like you know the pink yarn over here the white yarn over here I can just go. I don't even have to look for the color changes. I'm also recording how long each part takes me to make. Uh, yesterday I told you like how long it took me to make each fin and it took me about an hour and 20 minutes just to make the mouth pouch and now I'm timing how long it's taking me to make the body. Um, my prediction is that the body's obviously going to take me the longest. It already has been. It's It's been a while. In the end, I'm going to create like a graph or a chart, pie chart thing and show you what took the longest. Because when I first made my giant whale shark, I thought the body was going to take me the longest. But it really surprised me to how much that mouth part took because I added so many extra rows and stitches, it really did take up a significant amount of time, along with stuffing, because it took me like three hours to stuff it, because I was really picky. I like my stuffing to be very firm and smooth, so I would have to stuff, restuff, fix things. If there were gaps, I'd have to pull it out. I think the body for sure is going to take the longest, then stuffing, and then the mouth. But we'll see. I'll share the details with you once it's done. It's honestly a really beautiful day again, so I think I'm gonna have to go swimming and cut some of my time, but again, I have the whole night to crochet. If you don't know I'm from Minnesota, and just from the way that I said Minnesota, or boat, you probably already know that I'm from Minnesota. When I was in Peru, I definitely had the strongest Minnesotan accent. Minnesotan. Um, I'd always say, oh yeah, so that just kind of became like a, a joke within our group. If you don't know, in about two months this nice weather and summer is going to turn to boom straight fall and then winter from november to probably march so i have to go out and enjoy this nice weather <laughs> this is what it looked like last year here i believe in december nonetheless my goal today is to crochet for about four or five hours i did have some hand pain on day two but that seemed to have gone away i'm being more mindful of that crocheting for a chunk of time taking a break, going swimming, then crocheting, going swimming, just not making myself do repetitive motions for such a long time without taking breaks. I also really really want to get this done as quick as possible because I have a market in 17 days and I have a lot to do. I have I think over a hundred plushies for my inventory but they all need to be tagged. I need to get bags, I need to learn how to use the square card reader, I have to do a lot of stuff with that, like my whole setup, the tent, I don't know. I thought it was just going to be super easy, now I'm like, I have so much stuff to do. 
and I'm making a whale shark in a week, but it will all work out. Also, I was thinking of showing you how I do my color changes today and how I carry the yarn. The pattern that I used, um, Whitney the Whale Shark by the Cotton Caboodle, recommends a specific way to carry your yarn, and I don't do that. Um, they made their whale shark with acrylic. I'm thinking that's probably why it worked better for them to do it that way. With Bernat Blanket, I just found that the way that I carry yarn is the best way for me. And I thought I would show it with you because there's so many different ways to change colors, to carry the yarn. How do you like tie off the ends? How do you sew in the ends? Like there's so many ways to do it. So I thought I would show you my method in case you want to make a whale shark. Or if you're just curious for how I'm doing this, this is the method that I used with all my other whale sharks, my giant whale shark, the medium one. So let's get started and I'm going to show that to you now. All right, so here we are. I am attaching my next color by creating a slip knot, hooking it on the hook, tightening it, and then finishing the stitch. Now I am going to single crochet until it says I need to switch to white. So I'm going to half finish the stitch, grab my white, yarn over, pull through, finish the stitch. I'm already supposed to switch to the next color in that stitch, so I'm just half completing it, grabbing the pink, pulling it over, and finishing the stitch. Single crochet two, half make the stitch, grab the white, yarn over, finishing that one, make the white, grab the pink, yarn over, finish that one, and then I just keep doing that process over and over and over and over again to get the little spots. Here is what the back of my crochet looks like. I do not carry the strands in the single crochets. I find that I can see through them. And then the ends, I just tie them twice and they are secure. When I'm making the row after I've made the spots, I single crochet in the back loop only of the white stitches. So right there, I'm going to go into the back loop only and then single crochet as normal. And again, in the back loop only for where that color change is. I find that it makes a cleaner color change. I don't know, it's just something I've started doing and I really like the way it looks. Finally, finally getting to the decreases. I did, I think, two decreases, but this is what we're at. Um, it kind of looks like a bag. I feel like it could be a cute, like, bag. But I did my first stripe, and now I'm doing my bigger spots. I just hit eight hours, so I am going to reward myself and let myself go swimming now, because I think I've made really good progress. And of course, I'm going to keep crocheting today and tonight, but this is my eight hour check-in. I'll see you at nine hours. All right, I may or may not have lied. I am checking back in with you at eight hours and 20 minutes because my shoulders hurt and I'm going to eat dinner and edit this video. This is where we're at. I've gotten to another stripe and then a couple more rows. It feels like a lot, but it also feels like it isn't. When I think about it, it's been four days, and then if you know if you break it up, that's two hours each day. But I mean, look at it. I mean, it's really big. The length of my pouch for the mouth worked out perfect. I'm just starting to decrease, so I'm not gonna have it like getting squished or anything once I start really, really decreasing. So I'm very happy about that. I'm loving the color. I'm about to finish my first skein of white, but the fuchsia is still going strong. I have about a fourth of a skein left, maybe. I'm gonna go. This is gonna be my last check-in for today. I think tomorrow I'm going to attach the safety eyes and then maybe even begin stuffing. When I stuffed my giant one, I waited until the very, very end to start stuffing, which was kind of difficult because I had to shove my arm up the whole thing. So I'm thinking I'm going to put the safety eyes on, start stuffing, continue crocheting, and then maybe like Saturday and Sunday will be the finishing touches and it will be done in a week. 
That sounds insane because the last one took me five months. I mean, of course this one's smaller, but I mean, she's still pretty big. She's gonna be a nice size. Thanks again for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.